Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to my VNS channel and I am Edie Ann. I'm an independent superstar director with Sensi. I've been with Sensi for about 12 years at this point. Today I want to show you how to create a Facebook group. It may seem pretty simple, kind of is, but there's a lot of reasons you would want to create a Facebook group within that Facebook platform. We can use them for team pages, you can use them for Facebook parties, which is why we're uh, training today. We can use them for um, specialty groups. We could do trainings in them. There's so many reasons why you would want to create a group within Facebook. It basically puts everybody into a similar category within that group. They can be private or public. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but let's get started. All right. <clears throat> so what you're seeing right now is my homepage of my Facebook. And there are two ways that you can create a group on Facebook. You can go to your groups and there'll be a button there that uh, says create new group over here on the left. But you can also go to the menu where it says create and then click on group. It automatically brings you to create group. There's only one page to create a group. We are going to name the group. Um, Edie's team page. We're going to choose privacy public. Anyone can see who's in the group and what they post. Anybody. Or you can only members can see who's in the group and what they post. You can find the group. So you'll find the team page. You'll find the, uh, I'm, just, I'm sorry, the name of the page. You'll find the description, but you won't know who's in it and you won't know what they're posting. Okay. So we're going to select private. Um, and here you can invite friends right off the get go. And I'm going to tell you why I don't, because I want to set up the group prior to anyone entering the group. So if there's mistakes that I make, or if I'm changing pictures or trying to make it look better or making sure I'm adding all the information before everybody comes in, it's kind of like setting up your home for a party prior to them arriving. Um, I want to make sure it's all set up. So I don't usually invite friends from here. You could, like Marissa is my business partner. I could add her right now. I wouldn't care if she could see what I was doing. Um, but you would also potentially invite your hostess and they would invite guests, blah, blah, blah. And I'll talk about that in a minute. So we're going to hold off. Now all we do is hit create. It's going to create a bland group for us. Okay. It has a placeholder for our picture. Um, it does have our name. It tells me that I'm in the group. Um, and then there's a lot of options over here that we're going to go over that can help us create a better group environment. All right. You're also going to say here where it says continue setting up your group. These are some really good um, things that you should do, some steps that you should take to finish creating your group. Although invite members to me should be at the bottom of the list. So we're going to go ahead and add a cover photo. You can click it here or <coughs> excuse me. Click on edit right here and then upload a photo. You can choose from their illustrations, which this is an illustration already. Choose from your photos, your group photos, which there are none in there. So we're going to upload a photo. I already know which one I want to use. <clears throat> now, you have the ability to adjust the picture on the screen, whether it can go left and right or up and down, depending on how big the picture is. Once you have gotten it to where you want, Click Save Changes. Okay, so now you have a banner. This banner and this team page name or the group page name um, can be seen by the public. The next thing that can be seen by the public is the description. So we're going to add a description to let people know what this group is all about. Okay, if it's a team page, then write a little bit about your team. If it's a Facebook page, then make sure you're saying who the hostess is, what time the party is at, and how to order, okay? Um, this is our team group for training, encouragement, and recognition. Click Save. And now the description will be listed there. Okay. See, it's right here in the about section. All right. Um, introduce your community basically means that you are making a post. All right. Not ready to do that. Matter of fact, I want to set up an association for this group and I want to do all of the settings over here as well. 
So if I click on edit again, you're going to notice where it says add group affiliation. This just allows me to make me, my name appear as the administrator of this group. Okay. Um, and it also shows on the bottom where you'll see um, where the, you can add a group affiliation to show that a specific person or organization is an admin to the group. The admin's name will appear at the bottom of the group's cover photo. <laughs> there you go. Save. Okay. So if I refresh this <clears throat> and I was on somebody else's page, see group by Edie and Pelletier. So there's the association that got added. That way there's really no guessing as to what is happening um, in that group or who's in charge of the group. I kind of like that because sometimes you go in a group and you're like, whose group is this? What is, what's going on here? Right. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to go over on the left-hand side and I'm going to kind of go over some of these settings with you so that you have an understanding of what you can do within a group. The admin assist, member request, badge request, members questions, pending posts, scheduled posts, activity log, all of this stuff. Some of these things cannot be done until you have people in it, like the admin assist, the member request, badge request. Okay. Now, membership questions, I'm sure you have tried to join a group that added asked you questions before you were able to be admitted into the group. This is where that is done, okay? So if this was a team page, I might ask questions like, what's your website address? What's your consultant ID? Who is your sponsor, right? That way I can confirm that they actually are a Sensi consultant, okay? Um, if it's a Facebook party, I might say something like, are you willing to adhere to the rules of this group of compassion and generosity? Whatever. Um, who is the hostess that invited you or who's the per what's the person's name that invited you? And are you familiar with what Sensi is? Those might be some of the questions. You can ask three. Those might be some of the questions that I would ask for a Facebook party. Okay. So you click on add question. Are you a current consultant? You can do check boxes, multiple choice, or a written answer. So if it's multiple choice, it's either going to be yes, no. Okay. Click save. So they have the ability to click on yes or no. I can do another one. <clears throat> what is your website or let's say your consultant ID number. And this one I'll have to do a written answer and then save. And then I would do one more. Who is your sponsor? And this one too, a write in. Okay. So now you have your questions set up. If somebody goes to click join for that group, these questions will pop up before they have the right to admit or to go in. You'll need to approve them, right, before they can enter the group. All right, pending posts. Pending posts means that you have the ability to decline or set up posts prior to, um, oh my God, that's too funny. Uh, it's my birthday tomorrow and the florist just drove into my, <laughs> to my house. Um, you have the ability to decline posts or approve posts. That way people aren't just willy nilly posting in your group. They can, you can either have it set up like right now it's set up that anybody can post. If they're in the group, they can post. Um, otherwise you can set it up to approve posts prior. Okay. So you would just click on this. Guys, there's a lot of cheat pop-ups too that happen. So that's it. that's good for you. Scheduled post is if you wanted to create a post and schedule it to post later, right? You can go in and do that. That's great for Facebook parties. Um, activity log will show you all the things that have happened in that group. If you want to set up some group rules that are always visible to the people that are joining, you can set those up there. Um, moderation alerts group quality, grow group. Um, I'm going to go to group settings. Here's something that you probably would need to know. You can change the name in the description. 
You can change the privacy. You can change if it's visible or hidden and if there is an actual physical location. Your web address for this particular group would be listed here and you can actually change the name to be if it's available. Okay, and it'll show you a, a green check mark uh, once you figure out if it's available or not. Okay, your group color, you could change the color of your group. That's always fun. Um, you have badges that you can do. A lot of this stuff only happens if um, or is only applicable when you have people in the group. Okay, who can join the group? Who can approve requests for people to join the group? Um, who is pre-approved to join? Uh, who can post, right? There's all kinds of things here that you can utilize to um, change how your group functions, okay? So make sure that you're going through these settings, all right? Um, one of the other things is that you can link pages. So for me, this is my actual page for Sensi. You can link recommended groups. So if this was a Facebook party, I would want to recommend my VIP lounge, right? So I would click on recommend and now that would be added. If I had apps that I was utilizing like Visily or Post My Party or some of those programs that are out there that can help you with scheduling posts, you would want to make sure that you add the app to the group in order to... <clears throat> be able to utilize that product or that app in the group. Okay. So there's a lot of different settings that you can do. Uh, badges are always fun. So you just want to go through and scan and see the different things that you can do um, within your group. Okay. So now this group is ready. You can post things. Welcome to the team. Um, I could put a little picture in here. Let's see if I could find one. Welcome to the group. And let's put a picture of me. <laughs> All right. So now I could, whoops, I could post this and it would automatically post into the group. And this is the first post that will be seen when somebody enters the group. Okay. So here are lots of things that have happened in this group. These are all the things that I have done while I've been on the training with you. Um, <clears throat> now that you're ready and the group is done, all the things are in it, you can start inviting people, invite Facebook friends, or you can invite them by email. They don't have to be part of Facebook in order to join your group. Not sure if you knew that. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have an amazing day.